Back again with another episode, but this time I'm doing the fusion reactor. I think I got it right that time. So basically the same setup, I just destroyed the other one. Oh. Um, so basically we need to make elite circuits, which you need basic circuit, two basic circuits, all that. that. And obviously I've shown you the recipe for the elite circuit. And you need to make a fission reactor. And then you upgrade that to an old fusion reactor with four steel plates, four elite circuits. So there you go, fusion reactor. And obviously you need reactor turbines again. And you need a deuterium, ext a deuterium extractor this time. So that's two centrifuges on the last episode I showed you how to make them. Just in case you didn't watch it, here it's here. So, pretty basic. Um, so, yeah, put that. So, that's about it. Um, obviously, I've got most of the stuff here already in. So, you need electromagnets this time. And to make an electromagnet, it's basically a motor surrounded by bronze. And you can use electromagnetic glass if you want, it's just glass and electromagnet pretty basic. So, here we go, set it up here. So, I'll go three up. I'm going to put the fusion reactor down. And, as you can see, it's a lot different to the fusion reactor. So, this is basic setup. So, what we're going to do is we're going to surround it in electromagnets. Like that. Give me a second. Sorry about that, I was just doing this. So, once again, you surround it in electromagnets like this. And then you come one out, like so. And you make another box. Now, what this will do, well, surround is the, the fusion reactor produces plasma, which is pretty cool. But very de devastating. So, that. Uh, you didn't have to, but it looks pretty. So, make sure that it's hollow in the middle, obviously, for the plasma. And obviously, you need to go underneath for it. This is a basic. So now I think it's two back. What is it? One. No, it's just just two back. I think. Yes. Right, so basically this. So, yeah. Oh, fuck off. Anyway. Like this. God, like that. I'll just sort of surround it all the way around and cover that up before I forget. Uh, the last thing I want. So what you're going to do is you're going to do this. Um, just like that. This is a basic setup. You could probably do something a wee bit more complicated. But 
no really experiment in the down. So go another one up, like so. Obviously like this in the corners. So basically what the fusion reactor actually does, I'll just explain that to you while I'm doing this, is a uh, it uses heavy water, which is deuterium, and creates it makes it heavier, which is why it's called fusion. Um creates energy off of that. Um so the energy is plasma to heat up water. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put oh, turbines one above each electromagnet there. So if there's space for the steam, you could use um, steam funnels. Um, which I think increase the power, but just for the purpose of this, I'm not gonna. So I think we'll put the lever here. I'll turn it on like this. So obviously, you need your repeater. And, and I keep forgetting. So. Like this, so we shut some of them. There you go. So you then need to connect it up here because it just goes round. So what we're going to do now is get rid of some of this. Just put water around the surrounding area, something like this. This has to be source blocks above. Oh shit. Oh, I'm not much luck. Um, get this back. There we go. Uh, and that. Uh, like that. So we've got that, that basically set up. So we need now. Power cable to use the insulated superconductive thing again. There's the best on top. Like this. So then, the power obviously you can't. Do it there, so you need to go above the redstone. Like so. Obviously, just put the power into a battery box. Here. So, power goes into the red side, as you can see, nothing in it again. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to this at the bottom. So to create, to start up the reactor, you obviously need power. Um, so I'll just set up this here. I'm going to leave it disconnected to now. So put these up and create it fully. So this is a deuterium extractor. So you use a bucket of water. Just basically put it in, you get the bucket back holds the water and creates deuterium. It can hold five buckets of water at once. And there you go, deuterium. It is stackable 64. Um, I think one deuterium lasts a couple of, maybe a minute in the reactor. So what we're going to do is we're just going to spawn in a lot. It can hold, I think it's an entire inventory's worth of yeah, deuterium. So it's pretty impressive. So we'll just fill it up, just right click it with it, and I'll put it in. 
So well, this is basically it. And what we'll do now is we'll connect it. So we'll boom. So as you can see, it creates lovely purple stuff, like the Nether portal. But turbines aren't spinning because there's no water to heat it up. So we'll just go this and go. And as you can see, it literally instantly. So it heats up the magnets, I think you can stand on it in creative mode and survival that you can. So yeah basically. So this is another basic tutorial on the fusion reactor this time. Um, so yeah. There are a couple of videos out there about these I thought I might as well just add them, just in case anybody wants something different. So this is basically what you need. You can have the power going back in to it. So, and it will still you can create the power. There you go, it's full basically. So what we'll do is we'll put this. Put another one in. And as you can see, the power goes up pretty quickly, which is nice. And that's even feeding itself back in. So, we'll see how much it uses per thing. Way. So, that's how much it uses. No, it's alright. So I'll we'll just put a infinite battery in there. I go it keeps it charged. So yeah, basically. They are pretty expensive to make. Um well, everything is pretty expensive to make in this. But obviously it's worth it. So next episode I will do I think I'll use this to power some launchers like these. Obviously, by the nobody anti mat missile, it's just ridiculous. But with some normal missiles, show you how we make the missiles and the warheads. I think that'll be a couple of parts. So, yeah, it should all be fun. So, anyway, until next time, bye!